Hello everyone, Steve here, and welcome to part 11 of Atomic Heart. I am going, I am talking at a low volume because people are in bed and I'm recording at night because I'm planning on sleeping during the day tomorrow because I have two night shifts coming up and they're going to be pretty brutal. So let's continue on. Probably should have loaded in before I started this, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so where were we? Oh yeah, we're doing this thing, okay. Sorry, had to sneeze. Okay. Try this again. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Anything in here, first of all? Let's have a look. Hey, Comrade, wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner, we work here together. Kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be the What magnets? Skip all this. I think you won. You obviously got iced before he did. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Glad to hear that. The first good news in a long time. He owes me a drink. You tell him that if you run into his body. Well, the dad shouldn't bother the living. Mine? Hey, cover I'm afraid you lost. Okay. Is this tracking yet? <laughs> I think that's everything for here. That could have been nasty. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. 
What you staring at, you metal dipshit? Uh, you good? So what we've got here. Shit. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you have all these rooms. that killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low 
make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate any of them unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. I wonder. Do you, have to, do you actually have to listen to dialogue in order for it to start tracking? No. Uh, I think it's bugged. It has to be. Okay, so what do we do here? do this works kind of that's um <clears throat> different What exactly do I do here? Okay. So there's something up here.
Charles. Found it. What the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent There we go. Here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrade Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Another one. Right, at least there's nothing no suspicious to do this time. These are some very questionable poses here. <laughs> Jeez. Just want to look around to see if I can. See anything to pick up? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Alright. I didn't think so. <clears throat> Oh, I see. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. 
But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat hey, robots yeah. without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. You just fix the... Cartridge slots. A cartridge slot gives the weapon it is installed on elemental damage. Okay. Alternate presser button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Oh, Christ. What the hell was that? <clears throat> this one's confusing. I'm back. I, I, I'll actually be back once I finish figure this out. All right, figured it out. So if you want to see it, that's what it looks like. I'm not sure that was enough time, but yeah. Okay, another magnet ring. 
No, yep. I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone the ever reached sake. that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro-connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions who have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade yeah. Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal <laughs> is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. Oh, That's why fuck he's on his way game. here right now. <laughs> Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Session <laughs> but I never that expected might be a thumbnail. shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Oh, God. That might be a thumbnail. All right, so another puzzle. <laughs> so this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up. <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Okay, that was easy. Oh boy. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? All right then guys, so I'm going to end that one there. I'll be back in part 12 where we actually explore this building. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care everyone. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.